Tonight, we are taking you on a trip down to the villages in Central Florida to show you how a therapy that's been around for decades is now being used to help veterans with treatment resistant PTSD. And while there is debate in the medical community about its effectiveness for treating PTSD, the doctor I spoke with says the research is promising. Uh, that one right there, that's for Afghanistan. It wasn't until he was 55 years old that retired Army Colonel Andy Smith. This is for serving during wartime. Was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD is cumulative. There were nightmares he couldn't stop. Terrible dreams. Last August, Andy started a 12-week program here at the Aviv Clinics in the Villages. Two hours a day, five days a week, he sat inside this hyperbaric oxygen chamber that looks like an airplane cabin. Basically uses 100% oxygen in a pressurized environment to get a significant higher concentration of oxygen to the cells that need it. Dr. Mohamed El Amir, a board certified internal medicine physician, says the treatment also includes cognitive training and a physical and dietary plan. There are changes in the brain as a result of the trauma of war, for example, even in the absence of a physical trauma to the head. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy has traditionally been used for things like helping wounds heal and treating decompression sickness from scuba diving. But a clinical trial led by Aviv's head researcher found remarkable improvements in the brains of veterans with treatment-resistant PTSD. The results of the study were published in February. The majority of those veterans no longer met the criteria for PTSD and they were able to help their symptoms. Since going through HBOT therapy, he says Andy's brain function has improved by about 30% improvement of function. HBOT therapy is expensive and it's not covered by insurance to treat PTSD. But for Andy, who has noticed gradual improvement, it was worth it. Drugs don't help. They medicate. Alcohol just dulls PTSD. This and he said that helps PTSD and there are potential risks. I do want to point out with this therapy that includes ear damage. Now, HBOT has not been cleared by the FDA to treat PTSD. You can read more about this therapy and the studies that have been done in this story on firstcoastnews.com.